I thought that this would be the time when we can refocus and go into the stories we hadn't yet the time to finish. But then we heard this terrible news from Malta where Daphne Galizia um, was killed in a car bombing. The son of the investigative journalist Daphne Caruana Galizia, who was killed in a car bomb attack in Malta, has attacked the island as a mafia state run by what he called crooks. His 53-year-old mother, who was killed yesterday, was known for her blog accusing politicians of high-level corruption, and he led the Panama Papers investigation into corruption on the island. We couldn't have been more shocked when, when we found out that Daphne, you know, Matthew's mother, uh, had been blown up. I mean, it just seems so senseless and, and crazy. It was, the message was, look, we can, we can do this and we can get away with it. We have, there's no deterrent. We can strike whoever we want, whenever we want, and get away with it. The fact that she was killed in Malta, you're talking about a European country that really shocked not just us, but also the world. You know, this, what happened to Daphne, it, it never, it, we never thought anything could happen in Malta. Daphne was, you know, very much a, a fearless investigator, you know, a, a, long, a long voice in a sense. She was very frustrated with, with the mainstream media. And, you know, people just gravitated towards her blog naturally. Daphne was fierce and she was a blogger so she had a lot more freedom than newspaper journalists in terms of expressing her opinion and she used it. My article went up at seven o'clock in the evening and two and a half hours later by half past nine the police were already at my gate with a warrant for my arrest issued by a magistrate within two and a half hours. The police cannot understand why I will not abide by the law and sit at home quietly and not write anything about politics. She was one addressing things many politicians did not want to hear. She wrote about corruption at the highest levels of government. I mean, I always get like, you know, the, the usual people, don't worry, the truth will come to light, good always wins, there will be justice. My mother always thought that was bullshit. She wasn't just outspoken, she was effective. And I think that's why she's, she's been killed. What was particularly shocking was that for some people, um, this assassination was a, a cause of celebration. One police officer actually tweeted that he was pleased that this had happened and, and called her cow dung the day after. So, you know, there wasn't universal condemnation of this act in Malta as perhaps there should have been. A court in Malta has charged three men with the murder of Daphne Caruana Galizia. Maltese media say the authorities homed in on the suspects following telephone intercepts. Police arrested ten men on Monday in connection with the killing. Seven have been released on bail pending further inquiries. It was just all a big show. I'm quite confident that they were the people who executed the orders to assassinate my mother, but my mother never wrote about them. She never investigated them. She had no idea who they were. They've probably never even read what she wrote. They may have been the people who, who pushed the button, who, you know, who set off the bomb, but they're definitely not the masterminds, and they, def they definitely you know, wouldn't have had the motive to do it. So the big question is, you know, who ordered the skill and ultimately who paid them as well? The way it was done was also a way of getting sources to stop talking. 